Handballstage. How could you do this to my mother? I made a mistake. It's, 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 it's not going to happen again. <laughs> I want our life to go back the way it was. What should mother have done? Left him. Do you think you can hug him and show him you really care? When Trish was 12, she caught her mother, Mindy, in bed with another man. I walked in her room, and now she was with another guy. Who was the other guy? She needs to go on with her life and stay on. What are you doing in bed with the door unlocked? You got five letters from yes. a woman telling you she's having an affair with your husband. And she was a chambermaid at the motel where he was staying. You're telling me she's a liar? I don't think so. I don't. talked about how when a person has an affair, this can really hurt a marriage. But what about that devastating effect that it has on uh, children and on even aunts and uncles, the whole family? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. This is Mikey. And Mikey is here with his sister, Danielle, and their mother, Allison. Mikey is 13 years old, and he is the one who called the show because Mikey has been dealing with some pretty heavy grown-up stuff. His dad, Michael, cheated on his mother. Mikey says the family has really been torn apart. Michael, the father's backstage, he'll join us in a minute. Mikey, this has been hard on you, you told us. Tell me what happened between mom and dad. From your point of view, you just tell us. Well, since my father had the affair, um, How did you know about the affair? My s sister came home one day and told my mother, and I heard, and I asked my mother, was this true? And I thought it could only happen in movies, but it happened. Now, things are not so good. No. What has happened? Um, my father stopped paying the mortgage on the house. We had to sell the house. Um, things have... Uh, my mother and father, they uh, fight, argue a lot. Um, my father gets very violent. Um, my mother keeps letting him back in the house. Okay. And Danielle, you're the older sister. You were the first in the family to find out about your about Michael's affair. Yes. How? Um, what happened was, I basically it was like a day's time where I talked oh. to a girlfriend of mine. And my girlfriend told uh, me, you know. Allison, you confronted your husband, and what did he say? Initially, he denied it. He denied it, and then and what did he say? Then he admitted to it. He explained that his lover had been what she had been wearing <laughs> when he was with her. Yes. What would call, I mean, like, describing what her body looked like and where they made love? What would make a <laughs> If a man says, I didn't do it, and then he says, I did it, mm -hmm. and describes it. Why would he describe all of that? It's just mental abuse, I guess. You but know, why? What to made be cruel. Him... Why would he do that? I don't understand. Now, why did you have to uh, leave your house? He stopped the mortgage on the home without me knowing. It was payroll deducted. So right. payments had been missed already, and he just stopped the mortgage. Did he say he was in love with the other woman? Yes, he did. OK. He, you... he as well told her that he was in love with her. He not only <coughs> confessed this to right. me. But you stayed with him? Yes. Why? Why? We've known each other a very, very long time. Okay. I've known him since I'm 14 years old. OK? Childhood sweetheart. Um, and... Are you with him now? Yes. Have you been working on the marriage? Yes. Have you been seeing a counselor? Have you been working on the marriage? Mother's saying no. yes. You're looking very... Has she been working on the marriage? <laughs> working on it, I mean, arguing every day? No, that's, that's not me, what that's, I meant by working on it. Yeah, they're not, to me, it's not working on it. To me, it's every day, it's an argument. What should mother have done? 
Left them. Now, Michael, you wanted to talk to your father. What do you want to say to your dad? That he should stop the way he is. In what way? Stop what about he's, the way? He... He's sick. He's he. He went and did it. He's what? Huh? He went and did it to my mother. And it's not right for somebody to do that, right? Oh. You do you really want to talk to him? You want me to talk to him? No. <laughs> Would you bring Michael out? Michael, what the heck is going on here? Well, let's let's hear what he says. Look at these children. What is going on? They're going through our struggles. You told us the reason you cheated was that the marriage was miserable. If you're going to stay, you stay in it and you work on it. If you're going to leave, if you're going to leave, you leave it, and in a decent amount of time, you find somebody else. I mean, what's going on now, if you're still miserable, and you must be because you're fighting all the time, you'll just have another affair, and this will break the kids up more. First of all, I would never have another affair. Okay. okay. No, that's possible, okay. You know, you make a mistake, right. you know. I mean, um, I've been married a long time, right. and I've been faithful all that time. This was the first time for Mikey me. Mikey is so upset. Mikey, turn to him and tell him what's upsetting. Mikey? You're sick. Why do you say, you can't say that. You have to say why you think you're upset. Explain to him. Explain to him, darling. How could you do this to my mother? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not right. <laughs> sorry doesn't help. Quoted as saying, the woman laughed at your jokes, thought you were attractive, you started seeing each other. Your attitude toward your family became indifferent. You didn't care anymore. What's being done for him? Uh, not enough. Not enough, and that's the truth. Mikey, you're not a bad boy, are you? No, he's not. Do you do these things because it's just life a casualty? Is yeah, it's like a casualty of war. What do you want to say to your son? I made a mistake. It's, 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 it's not going to happen again. It's OK. Mikey, what do you want to happen? What do you want to happen? I want our life to go back the way it was. Okay. You took it away from me. Yeah. Can it ever go back? It'll never go back. Why will it never go back? A lot of pain, too much loss, such animosity and hard feelings, no trust. Can you ever forget and forgive? Never forget. Then you shouldn't be in that marriage. You should not be in that marriage. We'll be right back. When Trish was 12, she caught her mother, Mindy, in bed with another man. Who was the other guy? I'm going on with my life, and she needs to go on with her life and stay out of mine. What were you doing in bed with the door unlocked? Do you think you can hug him and show him you really care? 
I want you to meet Trish. Trish is here with her 15-year-old sister, Bobby Jo, and with her father, Joseph. When Trish was 12, she caught her mother, Mindy, in bed with another man. Oh. That was, correct? Yes. That wasn't the end of it. A few years later, it happened again. And has it happened again? Yes. Oh. Okay. Trish would like to confront her mother about the latest affair. Trish, before we talk about mother's third affair that you know of. Yes. Okay. Tell me about the first time. How old were you? What happened? I was about uh, 11 when we lived in Warren. Yes. And my dad was at work, and we uh, <coughs> were outside playing with my other sisters, and uh, I went in to go ask my mom a question, and I walked in her room, and there she was with another guy. Who was the other guy? <laughs> my <laughs> Mother ran after you, and what did she say? She said not to say a word to Dad. Did you say, did you tell anybody? No. What is it like to be 11 years old and to have to keep this secret? Painful, hateful of myself. You hated yourself for having to lie to dad or not to say anything? Yes. Okay. Five years later, it happened again. Yes. Another man in mother's bed? Yes. Tell me how you found this one. My mom, well, I went to, I was getting ready for school. I was getting ready to say goodbye to mom, like I usually do. and. I went to walk in, and I got in like maybe four inches into the door, and I seen a guy standing over my mom. And knowing my mom that she's done this to my dad before, I, it just came out of proportion, and I just blew up at her. And I freaked out, and I ran out and told her I hated her. Never mind, just keep saying that. Did mother tell you to keep this a secret? Yes. Okay. Trish, you said the straw that broke the camel's back was this third affair for you. Yes. What do you want to have happen? I want my mom out of my life. Yeah. What has this done to the children, Joseph? <coughs> It affects them a little bit, but girls don't talk to their dads. You know, there's certain so things So you that... think it just affects them a little bit? <laughs> Mindy, what the heck is going on here? There was no love there. He never showed it to me. He never showed you anybody. And I wanted to prove it to him that there is somebody out there that will. How many? I have a problem with a strange man in your bed while young children. Well, that was then, this is now. What? That was then, this is now. I'm going on with my life, and she needs to go on with her life and stay out of mine. Oh, you hate it's me? It's not easy. Oh. You don't understand. I don't it understand. affected me. Go on me with your only. life and get married to little girl. Get married. Get out of the house and on your own. What about making a child keep a secret like that? She didn't Why? have to take him to keep a secret. What? She didn't have to keep a secret. You told her to keep it a secret. Well, then she needs to go on with her life. She needs to go out of her dad's house and do whatever she's got to do. I am getting that with my life. No, you're I not. Am you want to, if you could, you'd be married to your daddy. No. Yes, you would. I'm sorry, I'm daddy's okay. girl. But that's Some beside the point. Girl. This is completely beside the point. This is not the point. Let's hey. go back to that first affair. What were you doing in bed with the door unlocked? Hey. Look at 
your son. He doesn't even look at you. Aren't you ashamed of how you feel? Your son won't even look at you. Yeah, I'm ashamed, sure. Hug him, do something. You're not even going near him. He needs that look hug. at him, he's crying. Uh, we hug. Oh, really, are you sure of that? Look at your son, look at him. Don't do it just because I said to do it. It's, it's uncomfortable to be up here. This is, this is a hot seat. He's uncomfortable to be next to you. I'm here. Show your true feelings. My, Give him my, that hug. My true feelings. I'm here. Give him that hug. You need more than that. What is it? What is it worth? What is it worth if he don't do it by himself? Then he'll be doing that. You guys are forcing him to do it. He's not gonna do it on his own. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. Mindy, what do you want to happen now? What do I want to happen? Yeah. I want to go on with my life. I want my daughter to go on with her life to stay out of my no, business. Wait, when you say go on, wait, 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 wait. When you say go on with your life, do yeah. you mean stay married to him? If you'll have me, no. without her being in it. I want her out of it. You want your daughter out of your life. I wanted your to stay daughter out of my kept business. your. She kept your secret daughter, for ten you know, years. Yeah, I can tell you things about her too. Whatever. That's because she can't handle it. Because you're filming her, ma. People. How am I humiliating don't you? Care you? How you hurt you care how you're like, don't you care if you were hurting your children while you were like sleeping with these guys? Yeah. Didn't you ever care? Did At you that care time, how they no, fell? I didn't. At that time, I didn't. Do you care now? Yes, I do. Very much. Very much. Very much. Hi, I'm People 20 and I just up. got married. And me and my husband made an agreement. If we ever had the even a notion to cheat on each other, we'd leave first. That's okay, right. that, yeah. you made a covenant, okay? You made an agreement from thick and thin to death do you part. Just because you're not feeling wanted or loved, you work it out. You don't go and sleep with other people. Yeah. Right back. That's your opinion, not my opinion, not my My dad, um, he, he had left my mom and my dad had moved this lady into our home when my mom was gone. Oh. I can't have my parents at my wedding together. Oh. You got five letters from yes. a woman telling you she's having an affair with your husband. And she was a chambermaid at the motel where he was staying. You're telling me she's a liar? I don't think so. I don't think so. I want you to meet Lynn and her mother, Sandy. Six years ago, Lynn's father cheated on Sandy and left Sandy for the other woman. His name is Bonnie. Lynn, let me go over some of this with you. You used to have the perfect family, yeah, mother and father who adored each other. One day, you came home, and your mother was in the kitchen crying. You said, why are you crying? What did she tell you? She told me that my dad was having an affair with my mom, and the other woman was pregnant. When did he tell your mother that he was having an affair on her? They were in bed and they had just got done with their business and my mom, he told my mom, rolled over and told her he had a girlfriend. In other words, your husband made love to you and then turned around and said, I'm having an affair with yes, another woman? Yes, he did that. Yes. He, just, he totally destroyed my life. He, he took my children away from me for a while. He, our relationship wasn't that good for a while and I How many children devastated. did you and this man have together? Four. Two boys and two girls. Okay. So now there's four children. Then they started these terrible fights, right? Yeah. Your father claimed he'd stop seeing uh, the woman, but in fact, he didn't. He didn't stop seeing her, no. Okay. He was sneaking around behind mother's back, carrying on the affair. Then one weekend, everything fell apart. What happened? 
my dad, um, he, he had left my mom, and he, my mom had said she was going to go, on a, he, my dad said, go on a, to your sister's house and get away for a little bit. And so my okay. mom had went oh. to my sister, her sister's house, and my dad had moved this lady into our home when my mom was gone. The thing that bothers you, are you married? Yeah, I just got How married. How old are you? 24. And you've gotten married. What, what has this done to your life? Well, I don't trust my husband. I mean, he's a good guy to me. He's great to me. But I don't trust him for the fact that I thought my dad and my mom had a perfect marriage. And I don't trust that. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I can't trust my husband because I thought my dad was good to my mom. Okay. He said that he never um, could love, he never loved my mom. He stayed together with her because what's kids. But how do you make love to somebody you don't love? <laughs> Your father always told you wonderful things about your mother, and suddenly your mother is a, a pig. He never loved her. He had no interest in her, and she cheated on him, none of which is true. So when you see a man doing that, you expect your husband to do that to you. Yeah. Okay, let us see Lynn's father, Guy, and his new wife, and his wife, Bonnie. <laughs> Guy, your daughter has told us that the affair has torn her apart because of her relationship with her husband. Why would you call your wife, quote, a pig? I never called her a pig. You already you have these people helpless. thinking I'm a lawyer and you I did are. all this on my own. You are. Oh. Stop. Listen, I didn't bring my dad here to tear him apart. I didn't. I didn't bring him here to tear him apart. I brought my dad here because I thought it would help, because my son, okay? I can't have my parents at my wedding together. And my we son, my, yeah, okay, Molly, you guys were at my wedding, but for what, a half hour, an hour? You can't make people get along okay? they can't get my along Okay, my son, I just have a son, place. okay? He's four months old. And what, I can't have my parents at his first birthday because I can't get along? That's why I brought my dad here, okay? Because I want my parents to be able to get along for my son. And I came here because I love you. We'll be right back. You got five letters from yes. a woman telling you she's having an affair with your husband. And she was a chambermaid at the motel where he was staying. You're telling me she's a liar? I don't think so. I don't think so. Honey, do you call yourself a role model? Your daughters? Yeah. Meet Janice and her 15-year-old daughter Ashley. Three years ago, Janice's husband Paul began having an affair. After two and a half years of this cheating, Janice learned that her husband was cheating with her friend Jennifer. Paul and Janice are now divorced, but Ashley, the daughter, feels like her dad has divorced her too. He's not there, and he doesn't pay any attention to her anymore. <clears throat> Janice and Paul were married for 19 years. You got married to him when you were 16 years old. Right. Janice, 16. you say you had suspected that he'd been cheating for quite a while. It wasn't the first time. That was the second time, actually, that I found out. And, and what's this doing to you? Thank you. you? Hurts me again. He was a he was a good dad for like up until just two years before they got divorced. <coughs> I mean he he took he like took me places and he spent time with me and then I don't know what happened. Just another woman came into his life. Well yeah, and he changed a lot. What do you want to have happen? Well um, I want him to interact more with me because and to know that he's your father yeah because i still love him he's my dad you know mom let's get back to when she was four you got a letter from a woman telling you five letters you got five letters from yes. a woman telling you she's having an affair with your husband and she was a chambermaid at the motel where he was staying <laughs> Oh, 
Three years ago, he was traveling to different towns. Someone would call the house, ask for Guido, and hang up. Exactly. Uh huh. When you accused him, the five letters, the name Guido, he said what? Um, at, in the beginning, he wasn't home, so I couldn't really physically accuse him. All right, but when you finally got to him, what did, what did he say? Um, that it didn't happen, that she was a psycho, and she was just found his wallet and was sending letters home. So you, very upset, confided in a very close friend of yours, the wife of his best friend, Jennifer. Right. And you would tell her all your problems. I would tell Jennifer about, you know, that me and Paul weren't really getting along and that um, we had marital problems and she kept telling me you should leave him. And one day, Ashley sees Jennifer and father coming out of the bedroom half dressed. Right. She came home from school and uh, she didn't really realize what she caught at that time. She does now. What has this done to your family? Um, there's been a lot of water under the bridge and it's really tore us apart. It's, it's really, it's undermined every feeling that you can possibly have after a 19 year marriage. It's, it's like you've confided in that person all your life and you've wanted to be with that person and you've opened your whole life up to him. You've gave him a child. You've wanted to share your life with him together. But the whole last 10 years of our marriage was a whole lie. Let's bring out Paul and your used to be close friend, Jennifer. Are you ready? Paul, I know that it, adults get divorced every day, but did, have you thought about what this is doing to your daughter? Well, sure. I always pay attention to my daughter. I always have. Okay. You just got two different stories is all. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's hear from the child. She's 15. She's old enough. He says there's two different stories. Tell him what you feel. Well, I, I just feel like you've changed a lot lately. And, and you're just different now. And you do not pay attention to me? Yeah. I don't have to pay attention to you at all. You never call her. You never call? Since I've been back, I do. I know, but you're just, Dad, you're different. You're not the same person you used to be. I'm a lot happier way? now. Twice in 14 weeks is not yeah, corresponding with your child. In what way is he different? No, not without my daughter. In what way is he different? I don't know. He just... He says he's called you twice in 14 weeks. Is that enough? No. I've talked to her more than that. I've talked to her more than that. I took her shopping. I've, you know, I spend time with her. So she's lying? That's how she feels. So she's lying? She calls us every day. Yeah. Almost every day. Is that true? And you know that, Ashley. I try to talk to her. And when we, when we ask you to go do something with us, what happens? I don't want to go because I know I don't want to be with you. Tell him. Tell him. Yeah, but you gotta be, you gotta be with the person I'm with too. No, she does not. Thank you, Thank you Sally. Where'd you get, you. where'd you get the idea because that she has to be, be with her? Me the rest of my life. That, I'm, that's too bad. She came, she came. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She came first. You can leave her oh, for I the two that. hours and be alone with your daughter and give her your attention. You do not have to be together. Now, I, I know that there's two sides to every story. Sure, right? I understand a lot of people get divorced. Do you realize you've come out here and said that your daughter, who says, I love my dad, I want his time, I love he's not paying, you're telling me she's a liar? I don't think so. I don't think so. Liars my, don't look like that. I'm not liars calling don't. my daughter a liar. I'm just saying. She wants. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. Did he call his, his daughter a liar? Yeah. We'll be right back. You call yourself a role model for your.
your daughters? Yeah! Do you think you can hug him and show him you really care? She's more important than your flesh and blood. Good. Get out of her life. He's not. That's why I divorced him. She called the show. You're getting what you deserve. Oh, I got what I deserve. Pig. Yes. Mindy, um, my whole thing is you're supposed to be her mother. I don't understand why you would like her to get out of your business. Her business is your business. You're her mother. That's dead on. It's what I kept thinking. How yeah, can it be her you business? You two on the end. Before you include your new wife and your daughter to live together or do anything together, first build a relationship with your daughter first, yeah. and then include her. Right now, she hurts. She doesn't want to bother with you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, ask Gilda Carl about that. This lady has made, I think, a very strong point. Let's go to our first family. Uh, oh Dr. boy, Gilda. this this all. She proves. is claiming that Allison is using the children in a way without making her own determination as to what should be done. Oh, there's no question about it. What we're seeing here on all of these families is that when there is an affair, it is a family affair. It's not just between two people. That's number one. with this mother over yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Honey, do you call yourself a role model for your daughters? Yeah. You have a 15-year-old, you have a 21-year-old, and she was backstage crying to me. She told me that she has not been hugged by her mother. Do you know what babies die from not having hugging by their mother? Do you think you could just reach out a little bit and touch this young I woman? Did. No, no yeah. you did not. Yes, did. You, did, you didn't do it while she was growing up. You, yes, didn't, did. you didn't do it while she was growing yes, up. Did. You didn't do it yes, today. Did. And this yes, woman, look, look at these two. Look at these two I'm girls. Just hug each other, I have hugged her. have got to be the parents for this woman. No, no they don't. No, they don't. She's not my parent. And I have hugged her. Oh, yes, she is. She, you know what? She has to act like the parent in the family. You said before that you want her out of your life? That she ought to be married to your husband? Are you kidding? What kind of a triangle are you creating? I'm not trying to create One word. This is major envy between mother and I'm here. I'm here for purposes of healing. And I am very worried about you. She's supposed to get married this weekend. No. And I advised her, please wait until you know better about what exactly you want and make yourself into a happy bride. This does not look like a happy bride. You cannot leave an unhappy household and think that you're going to end up happy with a man. You have to be happy yourself, honey. Please I understand told you. that. We'll be right back. Hug him and show him you really care. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You have this beautiful young son here who is crying out for a father. 
who, you admit that you made a lot of mistakes. But I don't understand. Sally said, what are you doing to heal the marriage? What are you doing to work on the marriage? And you claim that the two of you, now the two of you I'm talking to, you claim that you're working on the marriage. You said that your ex-relationship, and you told the producers, the relationship did not work out because you paid the woman too much respect? This is a problem. You see, this is where his idea of a relationship is going. You can't save this marriage until you understand that that's the only thing that's going to guarantee a decent relationship. What are you doing with your life? Me? Yeah. Uh, not falling into this uh, situation. All right, now you see here's another typical situation. She has become almost mother to her brother. As the two parents are acting like two imbeciles. No, not at all. Absolutely not at all. When the parents not at aren't all. when the parents aren't there to parent their children. Neither is she. No, that is not accurate. What is she doing now? Do you feel as though you're parenting him? No, no, life. no. I don't feel that way. If you want to know who was parenting them, it's my brother and he's out in That's absolutely correct. That's who Danielle. Okay. All right. Where's the brother? I just, you know, I just want to say that, you know, throughout everything that has happened, you know, I've been there with my mother throughout the whole extent of it, and she's been having a really hard time. I see her, you know, exerting effort into her marriage to try to work things out, and it's just like Michael's, you know, his his decision, right or wrong, he thinks that that's the way it should be, and it, you know, I just, I know my mother. She 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 deserves better. She deserves better. She doesn't need that. She doesn't need it. Let me give you some advice. I see so much. You're, you're in so much pain. Please understand this. I'm gonna, I want to leave you with a gildogram. Life is about choosing, not about being chosen. You stand up and you decide whether or not you want this man, not whether he wants you. It shouldn't be in and out of the relationship. You decide to choose. Since Gilda, Gilda. So my main concern, the person who called the show was Mikey. Since I want, this is Mikey, and this is the guy who's been being Mikey's father and parenting him. Mikey is acting out? What? Mikey acts out. What's he acting out? What's he doing? He gets into a lot of trouble in school. And like what? Fights and, you know, arguments and stuff like that. And, you know, I know he's going through a lot of trouble right now and a lot of pain. And, you know, I, I, I feel for him, but... I mean, he, he, needs, he needs parents there right now to show him the way and to, to you know, they're so caught up in, in, their, in their time and what they're doing. And, That's exactly you know, my I, point. I don't, you, in order to understand my mother's situation, you have to understand her background. My mother's situation, she, she lost her, her parents at a very young age, so she feels like she's trapped. She doesn't have, she doesn't come from that typical, that typical family where she has somebody there that can help her out emotionally, financially, so she needs support, she needs people. And I try to be here there as best but, I but, can, but, but, but I know it's hard. But you cannot be the savior of this family. You cannot be the parent to these children. You cannot be anybody but far away and allowing these two people to create what they're going to create on their own. But who's going to take yeah, care of Mikey? It's physical. What? Who's He's going to take care physical. of Mikey? Well, that's, see now, this is so typical. A young child will act out in an effort to get the attention and the love and the caring that he so desires. Mm -hmm. Could you please? Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Hug him and show him you really care. Ready? <laughs> we'll be right back.
Trish says that her parents' divorce was finalized this week. She says she and her mom have barely spoken since the show. However, she says that coming on the show helped her realize that she needs to put the past behind her and focus on her own life. After the show, the producers arranged for Michael and Allison to spend a quiet evening together so that they could talk things out. But Mikey says that things are more or less the same at home. For now, Allison and Michael have agreed to live separate lives, but still stay in the same house so that they'll both be around for Mikey. Mikey has agreed to start counseling with Pat Ferrari in our aftercare program. I want to thank Gilda again for such a, an obviously great job. I, uh, Allison's going to have to make some decisions and uh, what's going to happen to her husband, Michael, but much more important, what's going to happen to Mike. Uh, we are going to try to get him some aftercare and we will keep you posted. Uh, we also need to know what Mindy is, kind of relationship she's going to have with Trish after all of this and with the other kids. Uh, if you would like to talk about any of this, uh, please join me on my website. We'll be there to discuss it and give you an update on past guests. See you next time. <laughs>